on the second round I got these and I couldn't be happier because I have those other ones anyway best of all right next I have ditty bags because you can't have a best of Vera without ditty bags they are so versatile and so many ways to use them but there's also so many styles and sizes of them so let's look first at a classic um, regular so this is in factory style it's the go fish pattern um, which I think they call go fish blue but it's just a nice one it has the rolled cinch there you go and the inside is as is my preference it's sewn around the bottom on the inside um, so with the retail side ones it's not sewn around the bucket bottom there so that you can pull that thing inside out that is advantageous four times when you want to pull it inside out and wash that plastic part and not have to wash the cotton outer that's fine there are times when i prefer that but overall this is my preference i don't know just meter whatever i don't know why that tag's still on there okay so there's that one but another one this is an older style but you can get from the outlets as well this one's lighten up and that's great too it has the same as single cinch you pull like that there you go you can get lighten ups from the outlet but not from the retail side actually next one is again factory exclusive but it's a small one and or i think they call it mini but anyway this one is obviously it's an outlet pattern i've forgotten okay this is tonal stripe pink and uh stamped paisley maybe yeah so but it's smaller size so sometimes you don't want the big size there you go you got the smaller option what i love about this is dual cinch so this one clearly has not been used so it's not really worn in but when it is they just work better you get i just like it better two cinches it's just better so oh i'm folding <laughs> they fold up really nicely then sometimes you don't want smaller and regular isn't big enough you want something bigger they do have travel sets i did not grab one of them but you can get the one that has a regular size and a bigger regular type of ditty but then there's this other one that came in a lighten up travel set i think it was called it was on the paper store but it came with these different kind of ditties. These are a nylon material and they're not lined, but they are like wipeable, very, very wipeable. And I don't know if they're waterproof or water resistant. I would say water resistant, but they came in two sizes with a packing cube. So here's the two sizes side by side. There you go. And you can see I'll move around so you can see the edges, but these are great. Um, this one is probably roughly the same size as a basic ditty just because it's not a bucket bottom so anything that is bigger it loses in the bucket bottom shape this size is what i use when i'm traveling like when i was on the cruise for two months i use this as my laundry bag it is a great way to separate the clean and dirty laundry and it, it was great and double cinch and because it's so lightweight it is is great i really really like it this was from a Bramble Vine set. So I don't know what you would call that interior of it. So ditty bags. Love the ditties. Do a ditty ditty. All right. Now, shifting gears again, the next set of things is stationary type items. Again, not all inclusive. I do like a lot of different stationary stuff. Um, Honorable mention would be all the different cards, the thank you cards, and the all occasion card sets. But I didn't pull those out because, you know, I'm, I'm not super picky about those. I'm not particularly great about them. They're just fun and pretty. But I do like journals. I like to have notebooks. <laughs> so I like the bigger ones, the bigger size, but they're spirals. Spirals not my preference. I, I do like them. They, they're fine. I buy a lot of them, but... I like these ones. So this is the Leatherette Journal Ribbon Bookmarker in Vines Floral. So it's a very classy. See the metallic? I know it's got the plastic, but you can see the golden like metallic and the edges as well. So this is a classy notebook. So maybe this would be a good journal. It's called Journal. Um, 
but it's just nice. It's, it's a great size and whatnot for that. The next, and these are in no order, they're just the way they're stacked. So this one's a journal with pocket. This is relatively new. This is Cloud Vines. And this one has actually a pocket on the front. It's like a faux leather material. And it has a pen, then a pen slot right here. Um, it's just plain sides and says, textured leatherette includes pen lined pages. There you go. Journal with pocket. Then, of course, I have just the lined pages, ribbon bookmarker, small journal. So journal and small journal. All the things I said about one applies to the other. And it's just nice. This one is in Foxwood. I'm in the purple. And there's a critter. Okay. Now, other variations. And this is a great size because it's a kind of size... You could take with you, you can put in your bag, you can put in your purse even. It's small enough, but not tiny. So I like them for that. Um, the next one is a dotted journal. This one is Vines Floral Black Gold. It's very nice. It does have a pocket on the inside. You can't see that very well. And it has dots. So it's kind of like grid paper but without the lines, it's just dots. So you can use it as a, a guide to write or draw or whatever. So just a variation. And then this next one is, um, it's a laser cut, geometric. I forget what it was. It came out around the concerto time frame, but I don't have the labels on it, so I don't know what it was called. But it's blank pages. So like an art journal or something, drawing pictures, but it's it's got dimension to it. It's actually cut. I'm trying to give you, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so it's it's pretty cool, different, different variety. So those are journals. In addition, I do, if you watch my last What's My Bag, I have a smaller journal that's about half of this size. I should have grabbed one, I apologize, but that would be in this list as well. Just journals overall, bound journals. All right, next item. I like, well, I love, love, love this. This is a Sycamore Agenda. It's, it's leather, it's quilted leather. It's beautiful, we've seen it before. But in addition, I like the 12 month undated planners because that allows me to use this best of piece. Um, and get repeated use out of it, hopefully to wear it out eventually. But So I have lots and lots and lots of the undated planners, and they're great. I just unbind them, take the spiral off, poke holes, and put it in here. So that's great. Really best of would be to make the replacements for the freaking agenda. Because why would you spend hundreds of dollars on that thing and not be able to use it more than one year's calendar? That's just silly. All right. Next item, I've got the small clip notes and the spiral notepad set. Both of these are in Springtide Navy. Um, I guess overall these are best of just for cruising for me. So it's a topical best of. But I put magnets on the back of mine, so I put it on my door. So I just put a string and a pen, pen on there and then people can leave me notes. I ended up playing tic-tac-toe in the blind with people. I don't even know who I was playing with, but people just start a tic-tac-toe game. And you know, I was always X because I'm Xena, but people would just come by and play the game and it was kind of fun. Anyway, little notes and have a nice day, whatever. It was fun and it was nice. But when I was traveling with friends, it's a great way to leave each other notes if you're not in your room, whatever. I, I just liked it a lot. And they're great at home too. Just a nice little, make your grocery list, whatever. They don't come with magnets. You have to put your own on there. And this was just a little notebook that I, it was a nautical theme, um, but they're great for your purse. I, I love these for that, and not just for travel, um, but we used them to score our card games and stuff, just a little something you could throw in your bag. Next item, Whoa. still in the journal section. So binders and such, uh, starting with folders. These are the pocketed folders. This is Dream Tapestry and it's paired partner pattern or whatever. Um, these are plastic and they're, they're a robust plastic. They have pockets, so they will last. I, I like these a lot. I have other type of folders that are paper or cardboard, um, but I think these will just last longer and they, they slide in and out of your bag well. I just, I really, really like them. 
along those lines, I like the older style binder. I, it's a good size, you know, one to one and a half inch. And it's same as the folders, it has pockets on the inside. I also would say the best of pencil pouch is the old style that has the metallic rings on it and the zipper on the end. Sort of just simpler, but it's a robust light nut material. The binder also came with these plastic dividers. So even though this came with the binder and this is separate, but this whole, all of these are best of items in my opinion. I wish they would come back to the plastic rather than the cardboard that they currently have. It's just not my preference. Speaking of cardboard though, the clip, clip folio, I think it's called, but these are good. I don't mind that these are cardboard, actually. Um, they would last longer if they were like a hard plastic, but I don't know. It works for me. I have several of them. I like that it's a low profile clipboard on it. So, you know, you can stack them up or you can put them on your shelf and then you're not just getting a, a the clipboard pushing everything else out so you got like hanging out over there they can stand straight it has a little elastic for a pen it has a notebook or a notepad inside it has a pocket here and when your paper runs out you can just put you know pull that out and put another notebook you can see you can put another notebook in there uh, notepad i mean anyway so these are great little project folios and that's it for stationery those are my, my picks. I, I have a broader preference, but I like all those. Um, next item is wallets. So what are my favorite wallets? What are the best wallets? Um, and sorry, one moment. I'm going to step back one step because in, this should be in the stationary part. And that's the ballpoint pens. This particular one is Lotus Flower Swirl. Pattern is not important, but I like the style of pen. And I do prefer this style out of all the ones they've made. I, mean, I like them all, but it's just, it's twist to operate, it's a nice weight and balance, it's a good size, and they are refillable, so you really only need one, but I've got dozens and dozens of them, and I love them. I do also like the click version, but anyway, so pens, ballpoint pens. All the other pens and stuff, they're great, but the ballpoint one specifically is my best of for this, this list. Coin purses. I like all the coin purses, they're all great. I use them for different things, different times, but my all-time favorite is the little mini kiss coin purse. This one is in Bramble. I actually got this as a gift. It was one of those little birthday gifts that came with an order, um, you know, my birth month, which is December. But it was the nicest little surprise, first of all, but it is my favorite. I, it's one of my favorite all-time pieces of Oliveira, and it's so silly, really, but it is. It's just great. You can use it for a lot of things. I just really use it for coins, and, and that's pretty much it. I put my coins in there, in my purse, and it's small, so it doesn't take a lot of space, but you can always find it. You can reach in there blindly and always find your coin purse. Super easy. Next item is the Passport Wallet. Now, I have been buying these for years now. They, they used to just be called the Passport I guess they always were called a passport wallet, but I like the outlet version. There was a slim notebook that fits inside. You've probably seen that in my other videos. That slim journal is one of my all-time favorites, and it's long retired now. I wish that it would come back. I think the latest pattern it came out in was Lilac Medallion, and they come as a set of two. Anyways, those fit nicely in these. This is Seahorse, of course, and it's like a faux leather. It has sea life inside. This is great, and this is RFID. Not all of the ones I have are, but this this is. Um, I have mm, six or eight of them now, different ones. They have a coin slot on the back. They're just great. They're a slim wallet. I actually don't use them for my passport, totally could. Um, but yeah, when you're traveling especially, or you're using a smaller purse, like a mini hipster, or a hipster, or a little hipster, those type of bags, it fits. It's not as bulky, and you don't necessarily need all your stuff all the time. Um, next one is the Riley Compact Wallet. This is in Falling Flowers. This was one of those ones where it's not my favorite colors. Oh, well, obviously purple. Yay, purple. But really, um, the other colors, not. Not a mint green, not a lime green, not none of them. Not that deep green. It's just not my favorite. But it was one of those things, just like I said, can't practice what I preach. 
um, go to the clearance section on the online outlet and if you want to try something new, whether it's a, a pattern or a style or a material, this was something that I had decided I liked and took a chance that maybe this pattern would come with like the pinks and purples uh, and I got all the greens. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I got a little pink and I got a purple, uh, but I like it. I like it's fine. It's way outside my norm but the wallet itself is one of my favorites. It's again, just like the Passport wallet, it's a smaller option for some of your smaller purses and bags and just a different way to carry stuff. Um, then you go into the bigger wallets. I picked my top four and each of these has been my favorite at the top of the list and they just sort of kind of shuffle over each other up and down that list. But these are my top four, I would say, that kind of persist. I like other ones, I have other ones, um, I really love them all, but um, here you go. So one, um, in the order that they became my favorites, was the turn lock wallet. And I prefer the older one with the, the squared off turn lock. I don't like that little like clamshell shaped one that they have now, I don't like that. Um, but I also have a stack of them, so I don't need to buy any more anyways. Um, this one is an indigo pop, beautiful purples and blues with that pop of lime green, super fun. Older styles, so it has the trim pattern, it's great. Definitely a favorite. And after that, my next favorite became the Trifold Wallet. This is Lilac Tapestry. So again, you got your purples and, and beautiful geometric pattern. Inside had like the Ilkat diamond formation, whatever. But there you go, Trifold Wallets are great. I also like the new Trifold Clutch in Performance Twill, but it's not a best of for me. I mean, uh, because as I use it, this one, you know, you open it, you get that. The other one is just a little more awkward for some reason. I love it. I'm still using it, but there you go. Then next became my favorite. I was like, okay, I, I used to only, before I got Vera crazy, I always had a purse, but I never used it. Daily working, I'd take a big wallet and I, it would have it be black or brown put it in my flight suit pocket, and that was my purse. I didn't carry anything ever. And if I was going non-work, I would just take that and go. It's kind of a wristlet only life. And then I retired and I girlified everything about my bags and went crazy beyond. But this is the ultimate wristlet. It is right in my alley as far as you can take everything you need in that. And you really could say the same of the others, but they're not a wristlet. This was great. It, it has this push lock closure, which I really like. It's quick, easy, one-handed access. It has tons of card slots. And you also have this separate zipper section that has a lot of room in it. So I like this one because I have a big phone and it was one of the few at the time that could accommodate my phone as well. So that is why I, I started to like it, but and this is, camo cat and you can see it's not gross or dirty but part of its lighting and part of it is this is a well-loved piece probably um probably my most used piece that i own um obviously it needs some washing but there you go argument against light patterns right there uh, but but yes the ultimate wristlets i have a dozen or more of them in different materials different colors different whatever including leather also. And then along the same lines and the same reason, you know, having that wristlet or crossbody option is the all-in-one crossbody wristlet. It's multifunctional, which I love, a piece that can do multiple different things. It holds my phone as well. So this one has your crossbody strap and the phone fits in that front slot, which is very important. Some of the older versions of this did not have as big of a front or you know they were a little bit shorter like two-thirds the size it fit the older phones but not the newer ones by the way when i had the life proof case on this phone it didn't fit in here either um, some of the newer ones are slightly bigger this one's a little bit of a tight fit also not well used so when i store them i put the crossbody strap in the front pocket and then i have them all on the shelf lined up with this hanging out the sides, you can just grab them. But anyway, this is a great piece. It has lots of versatility. You got your phone, you got everything you need. You can do it cross body, you can do it over the shoulder. You can do it like this. I use it as a wallet though, just like these other ones. I put it in my purse, my bag, my backpack, 
But then if you want to just grab and go, you can just grab this and have everything you need and still have your bag. Um, so that's what I like about that. Definitely best of, and that's my favorite wallets. Let's talk handbags. Wide variety and assortment. I do like the totes, but it didn't make my best of list because it's awesome and I use them, but they're not my go-to bag. So it couldn't be the best of if that's not the case. So I pulled out several. The first is, this one is Impressionista Stripe. This is the Turnlock Satchel. I think it's what it's called. Turnlock Satchel. So it has these longer handles, kind of like a bowler style bag. And it has a hard bottom. It doesn't have feet, but it is a rigid bottom. So again, with folding questions, that, that dictated because the front has the pocket, the bottom had to fold into the back does not cause a problem because that crease comes right out as soon as you put stuff in your bag. Stands up fine. But I like it has this wide opening and so you really can get down into the bag. It has slip pockets, it has zip pocket, and then the turn lock flap on the front. I just really love this bag a lot. Um, and it's a great size. So this is one of my first bigger bags. Next one, and again these are in, not in preference order. I just grabbed things and made a pile as I was going. Yep, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, but this was Glenna. This one is an in ink blue. And it's an older one, so you can see the, the pretty coordinating trims. And they are coming back, but I just still prefer the older ones. Just more details to them. But the Glenna is a great shoulder bag. It has the two straps. It's, um, I would say it's a large bag. Just like all these, you can see my preferences, large is in the shoulder bags. Um, inside, nice trim has slip pockets, zipper pockets, it's got these pockets on the side. I like being able to put my phone just quick access on the outside of the bag. Speaking of which, in this one it's not a slip, it's a zip, but that's where I put my phone or in the flap on the front. But Okay, so that's the Glenna. I have lots of Glennas. That's an older style Glenna. You can still get the older style at the factory um, or the outlets, I mean. But the newer retail size Glennas have those cinches on the side, a little bit different construct. So for what that's worth, whatever your preference is. Um, I tend to prefer the older style actually. Okay, then we have the mailbag or the double zip mailbag, um, whatever. This one is in Midnight Blues. This was this bag and this pattern, I mean this exact piece was my first love. This is what cracked the seal on Vera for me because that was when I became Vera aware and I fell in love with the pattern. Dark with bright colors, florals, whatever. Anyway, the problem was I found the pattern and I found the bag, but I could not find this bag in this pattern. So as I was looking for that, and it took me a while, but obviously I did find it, um, then I discovered a whole world of other things. And so obviously it's blossomed out of control at this point. It's gone nuclear, but this is what started it all, was the hunt for this bag. This is a great crossbody bag. It's a big crossbody, not huge, but it's a big crossbody, but it's very functional. So you got um, flap, which I like that it's magnetic, so easy access. Some of these have a single big pocket. Some of the newer version, it's two pockets, um, different, different configurations, and then the zipper main pocket. So uh, slightly different versions of it over the years, but one of my all-time favorites even now and it works with any of the different wallets that I've shown um, better with some of the slimmer profile wallets but it works great with all of them um, and I like some of the lighten up that you, you can't get a lighten up mailbag from the retail side but on the outlet side now you can get some lighten up versions of things but now this is new this is beach toil this is the reactive hipster this is a great travel bag i think because it is water repellent it's it's reactive um, it is a little bit lighter color but it's very very wipeable and it's it's not like the classic hipsters which i do love i didn't put it as best of because the mail bag is my choice but travel version or um busy active version definitely um lighten up or in this case reactive this size is new so it's bigger than my travel ready crossbody and my midtown crossbody um, it's bigger than all of those 
And I just love the size. I think it's great because it's slouchy. I, I, just, I like that about this bag. Don't always, but I do in this case. It has a zipper pocket on the side. It has uh, a zipper pocket on there and a chunky zipper on the top. It has two slips, which are actually mesh. That I don't prefer, but it's okay in this bag. Um, and then a zipper on the other. It's actually a pretty simple bag, but still has organization and a great size. Again, all of those wallets would work. There you go. That's gonna be my cruise bag from now on. And last but not least um, is zip IDs and lanyards. I could not do a video and not include that because they are so versatile. The lanyards I honestly don't use as much, but I do use the zip IDs a lot, especially when traveling, but they're great. They can be a little mini wallet. In fact, right now with everything that's going on with COVID, I don't even take my purse. I have to have it because all the things in it, but I'll bury it in the car and take only my zip ID. Not any zip ID, but my seahorse, of course, vinyl covered, printed vinyl one, because I can wipe it down. It's more sanitizable, if you will, and less resistant to whatever it might get on it, you know, to soak into it. So I think that is wonderful to have right now, and that is my go-to. I just throw what I need in it and that's what I take like into the store or wherever. So I don't have to carry a lot. I'm hands-free to stay clean. Anyway, I digress. But zip IDs and lanyards, and I have more than a few. I do have at least twice as many zip IDs as I do lanyards, but I do try to keep them coordinated, coordinatable. So I have some different options. So I have two, I, I store them on these big, carabiners in my closet. They just hook right on the shelf. If you've seen the Vera closet, you've seen them there. But that just makes it easy to access and you can kind of pull it off and pull off the ones you want. But here, here you go. So let's take a little bit closer look at these since this is our last item. Um, I'm not trying to make a super long video. Where are we at? Oh, it's already way long. This will probably come out as two parts when it publishes because it's, wow, it's been a long time. So best of, it takes time. This stack is mostly my Lighten Up and Disney versions. I'm not going to go through every single one, but if it's one-to-one, -one, I just have them on there like that. Um, Disney ones. The Disney ones usually have this extra piece, which I love. This quick-release Mickey head piece. I really love that. Um, of note, if you watched my haul where I got the most recent pattern, um, Mickey's Colorful Garden and Mickey's Colorful Meadow. This is the meadow. Um, the zip ID is missing. It's not missing. It was wonky, so I had to call and get that replaced. So it is on its way back to me. You're going to see that in a haul coming up, but not today. It's not here yet. There you go. Um, the other thing is on here, this one you can see is like all the cotton ones. For example, I have the concerto one, so I put all the black and white variants. I have the concerto, I've got Blanco Bouquet, I've got mini concerto, and I've got the cute little penguin checks. So like that's how I store them. I use these little mini carabiner clips and I just clip the ones the matchy sort of coordinating and then I clip it on like that. So again everything is about accessibility. You can see it, you can pull off what you want and not have to pull everything off to get to it. Um, another example is black, and this is just microfiber. So you have your black microfiber, you have a Gen Zip in Winterberry, you've got the Performance Twill Deluxe Zip ID, which on its own stands as a best of. Really, really excited about that, even though I haven't used it. And I elected not to use this. This would have been my second choice for the current situation, but I went with the vinyl, so it just made more sense. You got a double um, double ID window, whatever it's called, and then more black variants. Um, there you go. So this is a mix of all of that, but that's how I store them. And then you can get whatever you want off of there, but definitely a lot more zip IDs than there are lanyards. So that's it. The best of Vera is complete and pretty comprehensive, but. I'm sure I missed something that I truly would put as tops on my list, 
Um, if you were to confine me with like a top 10, I probably couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, for what it's worth, that's the best of Vera. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I hope you got something out of it. And I'm going to go put all this stuff away now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Washy washy. Stay home. Bye for now.